Bald eagle in the background as Cheech is landing a fish. Cheech, bald eagle. Cheech, rainbow. Boom! So, what's the story on this one, Chief? Okay, so hook selection matters. I had like a little curve shank hook on this hopper and I missed four or five fish. This is the first one that, that ate just the straight shanked with no upswept hook point. Fish to the net. This is a momentous occasion. Curtis has gone into puberty. What happened? Oh, I'll tell you what happened. That's what happened. I was not feeling the love on the old uh, hopper. So I've got my hopper dropper rod and I figured, hey, let's throw streamers. So the other day I'm talking to Lance Egan. I say, Lance, why don't you tell me your top secret fly that nobody else knows about? And he said, it's called a thin mint. But Lance's thin mint isn't like the normal thin mint. It's got a different color bead. So I throw it in there. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I've never thrown a streamer before ever. Just joking. But he ate it. So strategy change. Curtis is throwing streamers. Cheech is throwing dries. Hoppers are still fun. No, they're not. Well. Sometimes you set out to fish dries and you gotta have some little buggers in your box. Four weight H3, bombing a little tungsten headed bugger. This guy ate it twice. Oh. That was a streamer fish when we're supposed to be fishing dry flies. What? Another dry fly fish? Another dry fly fish. I think I think they're native in Wyoming. Could be. Yeah. <laughs> when all else fails and they're not hitting stuff on top. You throw stuff on top. What a new move. This counts as two fish. Oh. That was the hottest fish that I caught all day. On a grumpy frumpy with Cree Hackle. Okay, that wraps up day one of Savory Creek. We fished two sections. First section, part one, as you saw, was dry dropper and streamers. And up here, we wanted to fish dries. And we ended up fishing 
dry flies quite a bit, but we ended up hooking a, a bunch of fish on streamers too. But well, we just wanted to show you kind of the gear that we used. Curtis went with the 10 foot Orvis Helios 3 four weight. Hopper rod. It's a hopper rod. So Curtis is actually throwing dry flies with this one and it was awesome. That's what he said anyway. <laughs> this is the H3D uh, nine foot four weight. And this is the one I was fishing today. It's a great rod for dry flies. And I even tied on a tungsten woolly bugger and it threw it just fine. So rods did the trick. Um, <coughs> we're gonna shout out to Fish Pond too. I fell on this net today and I felt the <laughs> handle bend. Didn't break. This is a beast of a net. And the Umpqua Ledges 500 uh, fanny pack. I've got, I don't know, I think five fly boxes in there with probably like 1,500 flies total. Fly patch on the top. I don't know. I just think it's a real comfy waist bag. And I dig it. I dig it too. I got a nerd backpack right here. Curtis has the Patagonia, what's it called? I don't know. It's just my nerd bag. It holds it's all the, the camera. It's the nerd crap. bag. So he carries around all the camera stuff and I just catch fish. Weird. <laughs> all right. Well, that is day two. Or day one part day one, two, part two. Uh, and uh, Savory Creek is a phenomenal place love it big thanks to Bryce and Cody and Cody to uh, for letting us come up here and hang out and just pour oil all over their generator and screw up the heaters and mess up the beds and Curtis destroyed one of the bathrooms <laughs> he's gonna have to take a cold shower tonight because of it anyway not true. I think that's it. <laughs> We're rolling. We had a lot of fish footage yesterday, so we got another day, so we'll make another go at it. When you get a fish another day here, you kind of do it. You have to, it's a rule. So we'll see how it goes. So what just happened? So Cheech goes in there with his fancy, huge streamers, and they would not touch it. So I tied on my dainty little pink headed thin mint and had a huge one on. He got off, took another couple casts in there, had another one on, busted it off. But why don't we have any of those fish on film? Somebody wasn't filming while I was fishing yeah. and I didn't land them. Yeah. But they were tanks. Unfortunate. Tanks. After a 20 minute delay of Curtis trying to tie a simple clinch knot, he has finally sealed the deal with the new Orvis 10 foot four weight streamer rod, which was a hopper dropper rod yesterday. Still is a hopper dropper rod. No. But they're, the hopper's in my box and the dropper's on my line. Get in there with that stick. Get in there, stick. Barbless Hannock 900. They are hot out here today, boys. They do not want to chill. And here goes. Oh, oh. he got it. <laughs> Don Frito signing off for all the old guys on the planet. The Thin Mint Streamer. Boom. So I missed the last little interaction, but what happened there? I caught a legit hair cutter. Big, big fish. Took me at the back of the hole, ran straight up under that log and plinked me right off. Not too happy about it, but it was legit. <laughs> I was a witness to it. I did see it. It was huge. Probably the biggest fish of the day and the day before. Redemption. Okay, like I said, redemption. Off limits. Dude, I just bent over and I've been farting my waders. I have about, I got all the waft. Oh. Little pink tag jig.
Looks like our hopper dropper patrol is on point. I think I got a tarpon. Dude. Land him already. There you go. Oh. Nice LDR. He was hot. Nice roping, Tex. <clears throat> we got him on the hopper dropper patrol. <clears throat> That's a healthy fish. Boom. Nice one. Okay. Curtis hooked a log. Feel big? Yeah, it feels big. Of course, he ate the thin mint. <laughs> Ooh, that's a hair cutter. It could be. Holy crap! So, what happens when you fish tenkara? <laughs> oh yeah! Oh <laughs> ho ho ho! Okay. Boom. Nice. Okay. I need like a caddy to just come hold the rod and I can just reel. We started an Instagram channel called rodcaddies.com. Real solid fish. He's on. The key to that one was the Moorish indicator because they're just eating the nymph. Had his hatches upon us. He's not very big, but he sure is a fighter. So, he switched. Yeah, so we were fishing hopper dropper, get a fish here and there, and then uh, started seeing a bunch of fluttering caddis. So I tied on a Palomino caddis got a hit right here missed him we saw a fish rise up there cast him he ate it immediately this could be fun now, now he decides he wants to take off that's why I switched to the dry dropper I mean, Thin Mint's good, but not Dry Dropper good. Hey, little buddy, settle down. There we go, okay. Now you can swim away. Be gone. What happened there? We retired the thin mint because they were coming up and hitting dries, and if not dries, droppers, but you fished it right off of a drop off, tuck cast, get the dropper down, boom. 
were you further up? Yeah. Drift down into it? Yep. Well, except on that one. Barbless hook out. These fish sure are fat. Oh. There you go. Well, dry dropper again. Is the hair cutter. <sighs> okay, we're gonna wrap it up here. Man. Cheech has his hair cutter. Okay. It could be the biggest fish of the trip. We'll go check it out. <laughs> Curtis is messing around with doing an outro. And I just put on Lance's, Lance's rubber leg. <clears throat> After vlogging this hole with the streamers. And he is basically the length of that whole net. 22. And goodbye hair. <laughs>